morning! We finally made it down to the beaches in El Salvador and it's a black beach! <laughs> up at 5 30 this morning to get down here to see sunrise and honestly we were supposed to go surfing here but the waves are nuts there's no way we're going out there with those waves it's technically the rainy season or winter here in el salvador even though it's in the northern hemisphere and the waves are really good for professional surfers but newbies like us you got it you got it you got it oh! Probably not the best idea. Luckily our hotel is literally like 20 steps from the beach. So this alleyway is where we just came from for the beach. And this is the entrance to our hotel. So we were able to get out there bright and early and the sky was so beautiful. city now because there's sidewalks. I can't really say I expected that, but it's kind of nice. We've only been out for a mere morning, but it looks like so much here is just closed or abandoned, whether it's restaurants, hotels, and even some new construction that just looks very unfinished. <laughs> so far since walking around like the central La Libertad area, it looks like we are the only people that are not from here. Like, only, only, only tourists. We we're the only people not from El Salvador on our flight here. I really just do not see any other tourists. No, and I think if you saw them, they'd be on the water surfing, yeah. but there's literally no surfers either from what we can tell. so huge in El Salvador and before the pandemic the El Salvadorian government was investing a ton into the infrastructure here around the beach towns. They installed a new boardwalk and we're building new concession shops just here behind me. They've built this tourism center and have plans for even more hotels, restaurants, and boardwalks. from the beaches here but it's a little bit of black sand and a lot of rocks. I don't know how the surfers do it because falling in water is painful enough. I can't imagine going up against one of these guys. A couple of the reasons that surfing is so popular here in El Salvador is they have great swells. Like the waves just do not stop coming and two the water is so warm. It literally feels like a bathtub. It's crazy. The water in our shower is colder than this. That is so true. <laughs> Once the sun does rise, it is quickly warm. So 
So we're gonna head back for breakfast and lots of cold water. And I kind of wish that this chicken bus would just take us there. We're back at our hotel and we're going to give a quick tour. We are staying at a hotel and restaurant, which turns out to be a really good thing here in El Salvador because I don't think a lot of restaurants are open right now. We've been able to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner here. Breakfast is included and the portions are massive. There's not one, not two, but three pools. Oh, so deep. Is it? Yeah, this is me standing. Wow. It is uh, much colder than the ocean. There's also showers for your sandy feet because the beach is only a short walk away. I'm gonna try and dunk over the car. Should be interesting. Nate made me do that. <laughs> I'm a terrible jumper. <laughs> You've gotten a lot better since the last time we recorded you jumping. <laughs> it's so large! I hurt. <laughs> and they have a playground! Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Might be too big for these. <laughs> In this part of El Salvador, there's a huge focus on surf tourism, which means that the rooms are extremely affordable, but have just the necessities and enough room for a surfboard. Let's check out what's behind door number one. A very large and roomy shower, a sink, toilet room, full-size wardrobe, a small table. We also have a king-size bed, which is surprisingly comfortable. That's our room tour. We hope you liked it. We hope you liked the sunrise and we hope you liked our tour of La Libertad. If you like this video, hit the like button below. And if you want to stamp your passports with us again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's take a tour. Oh my God. That's what we're doing. Okay. And this door is open already, so they already saw it. Oh, we're gonna be here forever. Oh my god, I'm so over this. I think people think I'm crazy. I just keep coming outside and walking back in. <laughs> Does it look like I'm in Paris? It's the closest we've gotten, sadly. Oh, we wee. Wee wee.